Food services inside Michigan prisons has been a controversial issue for years, and today Governor Rick Snyder said the experiment is over. After four years of problems with Aramark and Trinity Food Services, including reports of maggots found in food, drugs being smuggled into prisons, and staff having sexual contact with inmates. As part of his new budget plan unveiled today, state workers will now be hired for prison food services. Alana Latang asked the governor why he's pulling the plug on privatization. The main challenge is about keeping the positions filled and having that consistent, reliable workforce that's necessary. What's also necessary, Governor Snyder said, was learning from his administration's mistakes. So before going back to their old stomping grounds, having the state fund prison food services. Let's learn some lessons. Let's see if we can be more effective, efficient, and accountable in terms of how we do food service within the institutions. When I asked about if the quality of food within the institutions was a factor in not renewing a contract with Trinity Food Services, Department of Corrections Director Heidi Washington told me this. When we examined the costs associated with it and our experience, we both, meaning us and Trinity, mutually agreed that it was in both of our best interests. And Governor Snyder added this. To continue that process would be probably as much or more than what we'd be paying to do it ourselves, so let's go back to doing it ourselves. And that was Alani Latang reporting. The contract runs out July 31st, and state workers will take over after that. There are expected to be more than 300 open kitchen jobs in state prisons. 